How's it going guys? We are back with another Anthem video and it seems my questions were finally answered so I decided to do a bit of searching and I found some answers that have been pressing on in the comment section and I actually have proper responses now, something I can bring to the table. So I continued my search, gathered as much information as I could. The information found is pretty awesome, so hopefully you'll enjoy it. It will answer some of your questions, it will be informative, it will be insightful, and hopefully you'll enjoy it and it will help you decide whether this game is for you that bit more. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share and all that good stuff. You can find me on Twitter, details in the description below. You can also follow me on other social media. So that stuff out the way. Let's dive into the video and give you all the good stuff. So from what I'm hearing, after the demo you'll get the choice to start with whichever javelin you want. So for you thick boys out there that are looking for that Colossus action, you may very well be using it from the get go. So no need to play as Ranger from the offset and unlock the Colossus at level 2. But with that said, it's good stuff right? Thick boys are united. Next we have the question that I was reporting on last video. I asked, I know there's currency you earn in game for the shop, does this mean you'll have two shops, one microtransaction and one coin, or will coin be used in the microtransaction store? Ben Irving responded saying it's the same shop, now this is pretty amazing, it means you don't even have to spend money after you've bought the game. I mean, I do recommend supporting the developer so we can continue to get more content, but you don't have to, you can earn everything from the shop in game. I then continued to ask, can you play the whole game solo including end game? To which he responded, you can play most of the game solo, not all of it. We think the game is more fun to play with friends, and rightly so. The game is designed for multiplayer, it can be played solo, but the end game stuff will be group content. So there's the answer to that burning question too guys, so if you do have any more, let me know and I'll put it through. It seems we have a destiny lover here in Kyle Handyside, will Anthem have bows? To which Ben Irving responded, no bows at launch. Doesn't mean there's not going to be anything down the line because they are taking player feedback quite heavily, but if there is a demand for it, we may see it. But currently there are no plans to have bows in the game. For you streamers out there wanting to know if you can record or stream the demo on the 25th of January, yes you can. And this is officially confirmed now by Ben Irving. Pyronic asks, does Anthem have any way of turning world events into harder versions, similar to heroic and normal public events in Destiny? Sadly, in Anthem, as Ben Irving has said here, you don't have that option. It is a single difficulty. You select the difficulty at the start of the expedition. So if you want to go out on Grandmaster 3, everything will be at Grandmaster 3. So there is no shoot these vents and do this or do X, Y and Z in order to make it harder. Everything is at a set difficulty once you leave the camp. For you out there still concerned about DLCs and whatnot, David Shaggy asked, I am a veteran Destiny 1 and Destiny 2 player. I walked away from the franchise because of all the DLCs you had to buy. I pre-ordered Anthem and I'm very much looking forward to playing the game. I hope that you guys don't make the same mistake. Jonathan Warner responded, I think you're going to be happy David. Because what he's basically saying is, once you buy the base game, all future update is free. The only microtransaction in this game again is cosmetic. Now this next one is pretty damn awesome, I think this is pretty cool. The question was asked, if I'm level 30 and I want to go and help a friend who's just bought the game, can I do that and what benefit will there be for me? Ben Irving said, they get loot for their level and you get loot for your level, it's rewarding to everyone. So this, I mean, is there anything they haven't thought of? I mean this is pretty crazy right? You're doing the same content. But the loot dropping for you and your level 1 buddy is different. You're getting relevant loot, your buddy's getting relevant loot. This is probably why trading wasn't implemented because they have added so many different ways to play this game. It's surreal. So good on you Bioware. Absolutely. I mean this is amazing. You guys may underestimate how powerful this single notion is but the fact is there's no need to level sync anymore. There's no need to Reduce your level. You go and join your level 1 friend or a level 5 friend, you're still going to get rewarded with loot relevant to your level. That's that's pretty awesome to me. In regards to the demo, Devon asks, any chance we can try the Grandmaster difficulty in the demo? Ben Irving said, eh -eh. Grandmaster opens at level 30, you can't get level 30 in the demo. Sorry! You're going to have to wait for the main game for that people. 
big one for me and a big one for a couple of other people and I've seen this question time and time again in the comment section but I've had no answer. I've seen tidbits of reports and reported what I believed was right but I was not right. Jack asks, will there be other people in the server but not in the party? If so, can we talk to them? Jonathan Warner responded, yes, there will be other people and yes, you can talk to them. Now, I'm not sure if this is going to be available to talk to them in console or P on console because we don't have text chat. I assume PC will have text chat, but if there's an in-game VoIP, that may very well be possible. So the fact that you could do this is pretty good. And it finally puts the question to rest. Will this game be like Destiny where you can see other players in the open world roaming around? Yes, you can. This next one is new to me. Gepo Stewart asks, when playing with friends, will they all be tethered to each other or can I be on one side of the map and my friend or friends on the other or a very good distance? Ben Irving said there is tethering. It's fairly generous, but still make sure you stick together for your mission. Now, this is really important to distinction. He said mission, free roaming will not have tether. I know there's a lot of questions about this, especially going around. So if you're wondering whether there will be tethering in the open world, there will be none in the free roam open world. The tether will only exist if you are doing a mission to make sure everyone is in close proximity to complete the mission. So people don't go around and just AFK in a corner to prevent other people from progressing or simply just to stay there and leech off other people. This is my first venture into tethering, so I don't know how it's going to play out, but on paper it sounds good. But if any of you have any experience with tethering, leave a comment below and let me know your thoughts on this. I'd be really interested to see how this will impact the game. Logan Crawford asked, when a javelin uses their ultimate ability, are they immune to damage? Because with the ultimate animation, the health bars disappear, even though the interceptor would be in the midst of battle. Jonathan Warner responded, yes. So it seems while your ultimate is active, you are absolutely invincible. I don't know how this is going to play out, but it sounds fun, right? Hopefully it won't be completely broken. Don't get me wrong, I'm all for broken mechanics and broken stuff, but you don't want it to be too easy, right? And that's pretty much it for this short video. It is Sunday, so I thought I'd make a quick one and get it out there. I hope you found this useful. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you have, don't forget to support the channel. It does mean a lot. So hopefully this video was informative. It answered some questions that you had lingering, the questions that you had with the open world, the tethering, the shop, and everything else was answered to the extent that you are happy with. If you have any burning questions, again, let me know in the comment section below. I will forward them onto the developers, and if I get a response, they will make it into the next video. Until next time, fellow Javelin awesome people, the Anthem is waiting, and we as legends will continue to remain legend. Mm -hmm.